Tonight we are following a shooting shootout in Cecil County. Two people are dead and two others are recovering in the hospital. Casey Baylor is on your corner in Elkton with what we know so far and how neighbors are reacting to the violence. Whoa, what is going on? It's a question Cecil County resident Andrea and many of her neighbors asked Saturday as crime scene tape roped off a section of Chestnut Drive in Elkton. More than 20 police markers covered the road as investigators with Maryland State Police searched for evidence. At least three cars were towed from the scene, but this comes as no surprise to Adonis Wilkins. There's been multiple shootings over the past four or five years. Wilkins recalls seeing a gathering in this area the night before. He was having a little event and I went home and went to sleep. I didn't realize anything happened, so I woke up this morning and saw everything was blocked off. That's scary. I'm wondering, is it safe? State police say troopers responded to the scene shortly after 6 a.m. following reports of a man lying in the road. Investigators say two people died and two others received treatment at area hospitals. Detectives say 26-year-old Tamir Davis died at the hospital, but they haven't released the other victims' identities. Andrea feels heartbroken for the victims and their families. She calls this scene unsettling and adds her biggest concern is her son's safety when he returns from work overnight. I really don't want to have to think about him getting into the door and right outside the door something was to happen to him. A state police spokesperson says there's no threat to the public, but officials are asking you to call Maryland State Police if you have any information. Reporting on your corner in Elkton, I'm Casey Baylor for WJZ.